Hello, uh, my name's Mr Nicholson and I teach English Literature A-Level at school um, and I've been teaching here for about seven years. As far as the curriculum goes for English Literature A-Level, well, it's divided essentially into three parts. You have uh, a tragedy unit, which is essentially focusing mainly on Shakespeare as well as poetry. Um, and then you have a crime unit. So the main focus text for the tragedy unit at the moment is Othello. Um, and we would be reading Othello all the way through um, and studying it much in the way that you might have studied uh, Macbeth uh, or Romeo and Juliet for uh, GCSE, but in more depth, in greater depth, looking at context in greater depth and looking at it through the lens of tragedy, as we say, which is basically a way of focusing your analysis on the text based on what we expect from a tragedy. Um, the other part of the course is we look at something called a crime unit, which is where we do the same thing, but we're looking at uh, two different texts. In this case, we're looking at um, uh, a novel called When Will There Be Good News, which is quite a contemporary novel, um, a detective novel. And then we look at something called Brighton Rock, which is a, uh, a 20th century text. The third part of the course then is what's called the NEA, which is the non-examined assessment. Um, and that is where you do a piece of coursework and we encourage you to broaden your understanding of different ways of reading texts. So we look at texts from a feminist point of view, we look at texts from a Marxist point of view, we look at texts from a post-colonial point of view, and then we even look at texts from what's called an eco-critical point of view. What you do is you have a grounding in these ways of writing, and then you choose a text and you choose to read it according to the ways in which those particular ways of thinking work. There's another opportunity with the non-examined assessment though, uh, as well as doing some reading of a text that you've come across uh, before in your course, which is to take a work and transform it into something else. So for example, um, last year we had someone who took a long poem called Goblin Market, which is by a 19th century writer called Christina Rossetti. And what she did is she completely rewrote the poem uh, using the style of the poem, but with a sort of more updated feminist message, which was absolutely superb as a piece of writing. Um, when you do that, rather than just doing it as a piece of creative writing, you then write an analytical commentary on your own writing as well. So essentially, that's how the course breaks down into three different elements. Um, one of the things that's really great about doing English literature at A-level is the opportunity, first of all, to do lots of reading, as we'd hope you'd want to do for English literature. Um, we don't just do reading in the class. What we do do is expect our students to be big readers and wide readers, readers who want to develop their understanding of meaning and depth, as well as their understanding of a range of texts and genres. We have various groups across school that you can get involved in. We have something called the English Forum, which is unique to English students at A-level. There is a language forum and there is a literature forum as well. Forum is a discussion group. We meet once a week uh, for literature and we discuss something that's contemporary. There's nothing assessed to do with it at all. It doesn't involve any writing. It's just a discussion for people who are enthusiastic and keen to find out more. I run a creative writing group, which takes place once a week. And that's for, in fact, all ages across the school. Often, if you're in sixth, when we take a bit more responsibility for being like a mentor for younger students in the creative writing group, which works particularly well. We've also got opportunities outside of school as well. So literature does often involve us attending lectures uh, from well-known academics. Um, and then going, of course, if we are looking at tragedy on theatre trips. If you're wondering what English can bring you as a subject, uh, where it can take you, you get a very, very good grounding in uh, skills of analysis, uh, you learn how to discuss very well and effectively. It's just one of those subjects that's recognised as having uh, a real range of academic skills which are appreciable across many courses and that many universities are impressed with um, as well. So essentially you've got something which can underpin many other subjects in terms of the kind of skills that you're learning. I like to think of literature, studying literature, as you essentially looking at the way that the human condition is represented in fiction or in things that ironically might not to be seen to be true, but actually reveal much deeper truths about what it is to be a person. Um, but also it's fundamentally, and this is what I say to my English literature students from the beginning, when you're reading, reading is itself a creative act. So within doing the subject, you are not only helping to analyse literature, but you're bringing it to life as you're discussing it alongside that.